This is Goku Sun DBZ, and welcome back to the final installment of my top 100 favorite video games of all time list. Gonna do a quick rundown of previous 100 to 26, and then 25 to 1. So, with that said, refresher. Coming in at number 100 for from Google Stay at Guilt. Next at 99, Under Nine in Birth. Then at 98, Enchanted Arms. At 97, Tekken Dark Resurrection. 96, Inside. 95, Remember Me. 94, Twisted Metal 2. Number 93, Limbo. At 92, Air Memories of Old. 91, Halo Wars, 90, Metroid Prime, 89, Final Fantasy 7 Crisis Core, 88, Panzer Dragoon 2 Zwei, at 87, Destiny, 86, Vigilant 8, The Second Offense, 85 was a tie between Ori and the Blind Force with Ori, Will of the Wisps, at 84, Kingdom Hearts, Dream Drop Distance, 83, Mirror's Edge. 82, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. 81, Fatal Frame 2, Crimson Butterfly. 80, Pokemon Y. 79, Final Fantasy 7. 78, Halo 2. 77, Journey. 76, Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. 75, Kingdom Hearts 3, 74, Rhyme, 72, Half-Life 2, 71, Tekken 4, 70, Skies of Arcadia, 69, Hydro Thunder, 68, Assassin's Creed 3, 67, Fable 2, 66, Mega Man Legends, 65, Dead Space 2, 64, Marvel's Spider-Man. 63, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. 62, Soul Calibur 2. 61, 007 Goldeneye. And of course, that is the original. 60, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. 59, WCW NWO Revenge. 58, Bloody Roar 2. 57, Dark Souls 3. 56, Portal 2. 55, Resident Evil 4. 54, WWF No Mercy. 53, Sonic 2. 52, Dead or Alive 3. 51, Final Fantasy 9. 50, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. 49, Panzer Dragoon. 48, Super Mario Odyssey. 47, Mirror's Edge Catalyst. 46, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. 45, Lost Odyssey. 44, Pokemon Fire Red. 43, Jet Set Radio Future. 42, Dark Souls 2. 41, Breath of the Wild. 40, Devil May Cry 5. 39, Super Mario World. 38, Marvel vs. Cap... Uh, yeah, sorry, Capcom vs. SNK 2. 37, Silent Hill, the original. At 36, Crash Bandicoot 2. 35, Fable 3. 34, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. 33, Silent Hill 2. 32, Dead or Alive... Ultimate Volume 2, or Dead or Alive 2 Ultimate, however you want to say it. 31, Mortal Kombat Deception. 30, Resident Evil, Code Veronica. 29, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. At 28, Vampire Savior, also known as Darkstalkers 3. At 27, Panzer Dragoon Orita. And at 26, Zone of the Enders, from, of course, Kojima and Konami. Back when I respected Konami, that is. Coming in at 25, and now it begins. 
a true classic and easily, in my opinion, probably in the top three best games that were ever released on the Nintendo GameCube. Uh, coming at 25 is The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Next, coming in at number 24 is hands down, of course, a couple years back, became my favorite of the MK series. Coming in at 24, Mortal Kombat X. Coming in at 23 is a true all-time great shooter, easily probably one of the, easily in my top three or top five favorite shooting games, just joking, it's pretty much my number one favorite shooting game of all time. Uh, coming in at 23 is the classic Halo Combat Evolved, the first Halo. Coming in at 22... A true classic, a game that I've gone out of my way to get multiple times. Um, PS2, PS3, Vita. I still need to get a PS4 port of it. And eventually also for the Switch as well. Uh, coming in at 22, probably my third favorite of the Final Fantasy series, more or less. Coming in at 22 is Final Fantasy 10. Next, coming in at number 21. Just about probably my second favorite Final Fantasy game of all time. At 21, play, originally known as 3 on the SNES, uh, coming in at number 21 is Final Fantasy 6, of course, with Kefka. Coming in at 20, uh, console-wise exclusive to the Xbox One, and as I've made it clear, it's more or less, it's my number two favorite fighting game of the 2010s. Came in just behind number one, but number two favorite fighting game, and of course that being at number 20, Killer Instinct. Coming in at 19 is my favorite fighting game to come out of, of course, the past 10 years, the past decade of the 2010s. Coming at number 19 is a game I've gone out of my way to get multiple versions of. Coming at 19 is Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, which is, of course, my favorite of the Marvel vs. Capcom series. Coming in at 18 is a game I only just recently got, and I gotta say, I'm about, what, two-thirds of the way through the game, and we'll see. I've had a lot of fun playing this. I've put in, so far, about 30 hours in the game, and it's already this high on my all-time favorite list. It might even go higher once I finish the game. We'll see. But coming in 18 is Panzer Dragoon Saga. Comes in at 18. Coming in at 17 is a true all-time classic 3D fighter, from the early era, easily the best 3D fighting game on the original PlayStation by far. And that is coming at 17, Tekken 3. Next at 16 is the first of the two incredible RPGs on the original Xbox. Coming at 16 is Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, the first one, where you get to fight. Darth Malak. Coming in at 15 is a game that, in my opinion, is probably about the best puzzle game I've ever played. Hands down. And this game has just, as I've done four full playthroughs of the game, every time I play it, I like it a little bit more. To me, it's a game that's almost got no flaws of any kind I can really think of in the game. It's practically perfect. Coming in at 15 is the original Portal by Valve, of course. Coming in at 14 is one that's going to be probably a surprise to a lot of people, but I've gone out of my way to get this game. Like, I have it on my phone. I have it on my Chromebook. I have it on my 360, PS3, PS4, Vita. 
and I forget what else. Uh, coming at 14 is Minecraft. Yes, Minecraft is that high up on my favorite games of all time. It's just a game I find great if you're stressed out and you just want to unwind. Minecraft to me is the perfect game to unwind to play. And just the relaxing piano music in the background, so soothing, especially in creative mode. Survival mode has a lot more challenge to it. Coming in at 13. Played this originally on the Super Nintendo. It is arguably pretty much my favorite platformer of all time. And it is easily the best of the Mega Man series of all the Mega Man games. Coming in at 13 is Mega Man X, the first. It's just so iconic in my opinion now. Coming in at number 12. Have this game on my Super Nintendo. It's just how much I love it. Coming at number 12, one of the greatest GRPGs of all time, Chrono Trigger at 12. Coming in at number 11, I went out of my way to get, of course, the HD re release version of this game. Coming in at 11, Tekken Tag Tournament. Second favorite of the Tekken series of all time. Actually, what am I talking about? It's my favorite Tekken game of all time. Coming at 10 is definitely the most recent addition to my top 10 list. Coming at 10 is a masterpiece of a game from uh, Santa Monica Studios. And, of course, a great Sony exclusive. And I love the fact that a lot of the combat is kind of reminds me a little bit of, like, Dark Souls but I enjoy it more than Dark Souls. And it's just a really fun, enjoyable. I actually went through the efforts of doing all the side quests, and those Valkyrie fights are epic. Coming at number 10 is God of War. Coming at number 9 is a game that is probably always going to be on my top 10 list. Um, coming at number 9, played the remastered on PS4 and originally on the Vita. It's a game I continuously always praise. At number 9 is Gravity Rush. Coming in at number 8. Um, personally, I've only played, of course, the original PlayStation version. I never played the Dreamcast version. I did play, though, the N64 one time, to be fair. I've never played the GameCube version. But coming at number 8 is my all-time favorite survival horror game. Coming at 8 is the original Resident Evil 2. Coming in at 7. I've played it on the PS2, PS3, PS4. Coming in at number 7 is Kingdom Hearts 2, which is my second favorite Kingdom Hearts game of all time. Coming in at number 6 is a tie between the two best Street Fighter games ever, and it's a tie at sixth place between, in my opinion, the best 2D fighter of all time. It's a tie between Street Fighter 2 Turbo and also Street Fighter Alpha 2. Coming in at number five is a all-time great Square game. It is what you get when you mix Resident Evil with elements of, like, Final Fantasy. You get Number five, Parasite Eve. Coming in at number four is just, in general, this was the game that made me end up truly loving the original Xbox, though I already gained a lot of appreciation for it thanks to games like Jet Set Radio Future, such as um, also Star Wars Knight the Old Republic and others, and Halo. But coming at number four is the original Fable. Speaking of, I think I accidentally uh, skipped over number 35 while I was doing Refresher, Fable 3 at 35. Coming in at number 3 is my all-time favorite Kingdom Hearts game, and it is easily my second favorite RPG of all time. Coming in at number 3 favorite game of all time, played it the remastered version on PS3 and PS4, but originally released on the PSP, 
Coming in at number three, Kingdom Hearts, Birth by Sleep. Coming in at number two is my favorite 3D fighting game of all time, and in general, probably my favorite fighting game of all time. Released on exclusively to the Sega Dreamcast. Coming in at number two, the original Soul Calibur. Coming in at number one, should not be a surprise to anyone. Coming in at number one is Final Fantasy VIII. Final Fantasy VIII, which is a game I to this day love and always will love, it's the game that made me a huge fan of the Final Fantasy series. Final Fantasy VI was my introduction to the franchise and obviously still holds a special place. It's my second favorite Final Fantasy game of all time, but Final Fantasy VIII I love this game so much. I've played, beginning to end, I've played through this game eight or nine times. And when you consider doing all the side quests and everything, you're looking at like 120 to 150 hours each playthrough. And it deserves it. This game is just a masterpiece in my personal opinion. Final Fantasy VII is good, but it's not the best Final Fantasy game in my opinion. It's overrated. Final Fantasy VIII, on the other hand, in my opinion, is criminally underappreciated in the West. And I say just the West, because in Japan, they love Final Fantasy VIII. Final Fantasy VIII did better in sales in Japan than VII did. Japan actually appreciates Final Fantasy VIII, and I'm glad, at least. And though in recent years, surprisingly, there's actually more people now that I think appreciate Final Fantasy VIII nowadays with newer RPG fans and stuff rather than the blindless Final Fantasy 7 only fanboys. I get it, it was the introduction to RPGs to many people, but for me, Final Fantasy 6 was my introduction, so I don't have that same, like, uh, blindless fanboy mentality towards 7 like a lot of people do. No offense to seven fans. I mean, it's still my top 100 list. But nothing comes close to Final Fantasy VIII for me personally. This is a game that just holds a special place for me. With that said, this is my top 100 favorite video games of all time. And I'll see you all next time. Same YouTube time, same YouTube channel. Stay safe.